What's up, party people? It's your boy, Ken of G, coming to you with the final episode of Undertale. I just had to get it in. Let's do it! Alright, my party peeps. Ever since yesterday's episode, I could not wait to do this last episode today. So, we are heading to Snowden, uh, to Undyne, to see what she has for me. Let's finish out this freaking Undertale with... A huge explosion! Kaboom! That's right! I'm down. Let's just finish it out right, y'all. Ooh, who's this guy? Minotaur looked really, really cool in that dress! It sort of makes him feel like I could wear one too! Do you, brother! Do you! I encourage you! Explore your sexuality! You know, even if you're total 100% male, wear that dress and See how it feels blowing on your balls. <laughs> All right, man. Do you, homie? Crawl through the spider webs. What's up, baby? There you are, dearie. There you are, dearie. You're always welcome to my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Woo hee hee hee. All right. I almost forgot how I voiced her. Ah, spidey webs everywhere. Ah! Actually, actually, I found the river guy real close. We had to go to left floor one, so, ooh, uh, tra la la, care for a ride? Riding the boat? Yes! Where we go today? Snowden! Then we're off! Do it! Let's go! On the magic carpet ride in the water! What's up, my man? What you got for me today? tra la la, dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise! Tra la la! <laughs> I like his little, or her little tra la la. His Snowden. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go find. Come again sometime. Tra la la! <laughs> Let's go find. You know who we're looking for? Undone! Uh. I think I may be going in the wrong direction. Yes, we need to go in this little igloo. Because I know they're over by. Yep, right here. <laughs> What's up, Undyne? Hey! I have something to give you! But you're carrying way too much! Oh, God. Okay. Let me, uh... Just shift some stuff around, shall we? Wait, items. Okay. Oh, no. God. Dimensional box B. Let's put, uh... Like, two or three glam burgers up in there. Alright? Um, so... I have a favor to ask you. Uh... I... I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Well, why don't I do it myself? Um, well... well it's kind of personal, but we're, we're friends, so... I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. <laughs> you got on Don's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. <laughs> Thanks so much, you're the best! It's a freaking love letter, I know it, I know it! Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Thanks! Thanks, fires. I got a key, was it for their back door? No, I guess not. What is that key for? I don't, there's something, uh... Was it for this door? Probably not. Knock, knock! Oh, what's a beautiful knock? Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, you and the shenanigans. Oh, my patient rewards me. Forget you. Let's continue to play Monsters and Humans. You like to wander, you must be young! Of course, alright, let's go deliver the letter to Dr. Alphys. Um... We gotta go to Hotland, so... Back to the riverboat mine! Let's do this! Tra la la, get for a ride! Of course I do! Let me jump in that boat of yours! Hotland... Then we're off! Tra la 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 la! Oh man, speeding off with the fury! Look at that cat run! 
It's like he's on catnip or something. Tra-la-la! Why don't you sing with me? Tra-la-la! I am. You just don't know it. <laughs> Tra-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
Let's do it! <laughs> Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no! That's her over there! I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? Yeah! Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks! I'll keep looking! Oh my god! B well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured that, you know, I'd be it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I, I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undying the person I um really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't um cool, B but Undyne. She's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just nobody. A fraud! I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies since I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth! The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me! Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither one of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. Aw, cheer up. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what would really happen if you learn the truth about their own if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell a dying the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Let's do it. R roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undone? I'll be undone. Obviously. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> oh, shit. See? Like minds think alike there. Alphys. Baby. <coughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I... I... I, I haven't been exactly truthful w w with you. W you see, I... I... Oh, forget it! I'm dying! I want to tell you how I feel. You're just so brave and so strong and nice. You always listen to me and I talk about nerdy stuff. You, you always do your best to make me feel special. L like telling me that y you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, I'm dying! Hold me! What did he just say? You, I'm dying! I, I just... Hey, whoa, wait a second! Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, <laughs> we were, but I, actually we were on romantically role-playing as you. What? 
I mean, I mean, I'm dying, I, I've been lying to you. What about, about what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just, I just use, and those two history books, uh, those are just dorky comic books, and the history of movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that, and that time I told you I was busy work with the phone when I was just eating frozen yogurt. Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. A guy and I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. <laughs> she dunked her. <laughs> Alright, three point shot. Alfred! I I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff just nerdy crap. What I like about you is you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to, to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. My giant you, y you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> Get papyrus and do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying. I'll do my best. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? This cartoon, this comic, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime's real. Ha ha ha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going great better for her. To, are going to get better for her. Uh, uh, Kenneth can't talk, so uh, you're gonna have to excuse him. <laughs> He's a dork. But well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! Oh, that was so great and cute. Okay, now what am I doing? What's, where, why am I here? I'm in the garbage dump. Piles of garbage, there are quite a few brands you recognize. Okay, oh, because we're at the garbage dump. Okay, now I'm an idiot. It's where our date was, duh! Uh, partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination! Save truck zone! Hey! I can't get past it! Uh, okay... Oh, it's piles of garbage! There are quite a few brands you recognize. Goodbye! You need a ride, I need a ride! Torn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> Give me that PC. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Take a space food bar from the cooler. Yes, I will. You got the astronaut food. Sweet. DVD case for anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Okay. Ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Alright. We're heading back. Off to the lab! 
Yes. Uh, okay. That key that I bought, there's another door that is locked, and it was this one. Is the key that I got from the alley for this door. It's locked. Come on. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Items. Uh, sell. Mystery key. Ah, I need to get it. I need to get the mystery key. Ah, I'm so horrible with these freaking controls. Mystery key. All right, let's see if it works. It's locked. Ah, I, c I need to use it. Item. Mystery key. Use. Use the mystery key. The red house door is unlocked. Sweet! The key disappeared. What's in it? Okay. Let's see what this stuff is. Dear Diary. Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad without her sister to speak for her. She's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blukey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Okay, <laughs> there's six of them. All right. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. Okay, the, the dummy I fought outside in the garbage dump. That le that leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corpor corporeal too. Uh, that sounded resigned. Corporeal, uh, my party peeps, I believe is when their ghost attaches to an item and they become one with it. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Okay. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. He's talking about Alphys, I knew it. But she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Okay, what's this? Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. <laughs> dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel myself. After all, there's no way I could be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. So, I'm thinking this was Metaton's house. Metaton, when he was a ghost. And Alphys put Metaton into a robot that was the famous star that freaking wanted to Chop my limbs up one for one and eat them for breakfast. Okay, I can't go past the, <laughs> the diaries. They're, they're blocking my way. So, that's all that's in this house. Cool. Cool little tidbit of info there. Okay, where is... Uh, oh, that's Undyne's house, which is still burning for some reason. I need to get to the water so I can leave. I need to go to the guy. Oh, there you are. Let's go to Hotland. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yes, I do want to ride. Where we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. Tra la la. <laughs> I love saying that. Tra la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. Tummy village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Tra la la. La la, la la. Hotland, we're here. Ta la la. The cat's not running the boat today. It's just me. Come again sometime. Ta la la. <laughs> Sorry, I love it. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Boom. Save. All right, let's go back to the lab. All right. Office, where you at? The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. Take it! You got the instant noodles. Let me take some more noodles. Can I? No? Ah, it's the bag of dog food. It's half full! What's this letter? It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Read! 
It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh, okay. So... Enter this door? Or this hole in the wall? Oh, oh, I can't go in. I can't go in there. <laughs> okay. So enter this door. Elevator to God knows where. Party peeps, this is getting interesting. Warning, warning, what the heck, man? Elevator losing power. The tether stability lost. Altitude dropping, no! What the heck, man? Always something. Well, at least we're alive. Oh, great! Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be re recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we'll have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Okay. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. <laughs> Ah. Entry number five. I've done it! Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Nice. Up. Oh. Ooh, weird music. Save hot True laboratory, great. Alright, what's this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. What's this? Cheer up, plant! Oh, it's fake. Ooh, break it down now. Break it down now. What? Oh, oh, Undertale. We got the skills. We about to go through this deal. Never mind. I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. Buy some chips. Thank you. Bye, chips. Yep, bye. I don't have enough gold. What? Oh, I, I guess I spent it all. Power room. Okay. I can't go in there. Let's go left, shall we? Okay, this episode has turned out to be longer than I thought. <laughs> Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still called comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Huh. Okay. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me, What's happening? What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ew! Uh, sticky tables! Sticky tables! You turn this. You turn on this thing. Uh. You 
Turn the on sink. What? Ew, white water. Oh, a ghost! A happy ghost! Ah! Not a happy ghost. Drew near. Okay. Act. Uh. Cell? Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. What? Whoa. 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 <laughs> but nobody came. Memory ahead. Join? Then hold still. Become one of us. No. No. That means die, I think. Ah! Act. Refuse. Oh well, it gets real. It's a real get together. No. Ah! Why would I do that? Doesn't seem like. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Spare! You won. It earned nothing. What was that? There's a red key lying in the sink. Sweet. Took it and put it in your keychain. Sweet. What's in here? A, lo a note! There's a note on the ground! You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Well, yeah, I got it. Click! The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Sweet! Apparently, that's what needed to happen. <laughs> cool! Alright. I'm assuming that's what needs to happen in the other room, too. Or the other direction. We can turn the power on! Party for the film? That's right. Yep, see red. Save it. Cool. Lego. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Empty dog food bowl. Okay. Seems like a comfortable bed. Uh, lie on it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> that was it. It's a bed. It's a bed. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yep. Oh, a key. Yellow key. You put it in your keychain. Sweet. Let's check the other beds just in case. That was pretty cool. It's a bed! Still a bed. It's a bed. Safe! Oh! Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Okay. Entry number 16! No, 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 no! Oh, what happened? This doesn't sound good. Ew. I, I can't walk very fast. That does not... It looks like a... Non... A wiggly pee pee? Green key! Thanks! Mr. Pee pee? <laughs> What's this way? Is this a dead end? Oh, okay. Oh! That's not a save point! Ah! Oh, great. It smells like sweet lemon. Ah. Uh. Cry? Hum! You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread body shakes. Welcome to my special hell! Great. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! No! No! Whoa, oh, ow! Uh, act. Uh, cry? You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came! That's what they say, they all say. Okay, right here. Uh, right here. Uh, right here. Ow! Punk! Uh, item. Uh, junk food. Cool. Alright. HP max out. Stay here with me! I don't wanna! 
Here we go. Okay. Ah cool. Ah. Wait, what's No, I can't spare Lemon bread. Uh unhug. Le lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. That's what they all say. Oh, this is weird. Yeet! Ow! Smells like Why? What is up with le the lemons? What? The... Uh, scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. But nobody came! Ah! What is this? Ah! No! 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 Oh, wow, that was intense. Clam burger. Your HP is maxed out. Stay here with me. Ah. Come on. Ah. Flex or call. I'm gonna flex on him. Flex your arm. Lemon bread seems to remember not something. Oh, I felt this before. Great. Ah. Ah. <laughs> No. Could this be goodbye? Yes, it could. We awesome. Uh, what's this say? DT extraction machine. Determination extraction machine. Okay. Ah. Uh, I can't see nothing. What's going on here? Okay. What the heck happened here? A note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Okay, well that's where the green key goes. Okay. Cool. Okay, I can't see. There's something here. It feels like it's breathing. Okay. Uh. I don't know what's in here. Oh, uh, something here. Something in the shape of a man. Okay. I keep clicking. I don't know. Uh, let's go up in here. Have I been up here yet? Guess not. Click! The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. Uh, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Yeah, that's where I got this key. Alright. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. Y'all little kids probably don't know what VHS is, yeah. We got DVDs now. This is before DVDs. They seem to be labeled in a specific order when you watch one. Sure. Psst, Gory, wake up. Uh, what is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want you get your reaction. Glory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Oh, uh, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame! Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet, hee hee hee! Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Huh, I don't know. Honey, what kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamoranian. Ho ho ho! You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamoranian. <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Oh, it's Tori Allen Asgore. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come, come out. <laughs> Alright, should we read the rest of these? How many tapes are there? There's a bunch of VHS. It seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. Oh, good. Uh, choose a tape to watch. Uh, we just watched tape one. Tape two. Okay, Kniff, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? I'm not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> okay, she's 
tape to watch three. Howdy, Kniff. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time, I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? Then the recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad, we made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera, okay? So, I am... As... I'm Asgore and Toriel's kid? Along with Flowey, I believe. Which is Azriel, I think. Day four! I, I don't like this idea, Kniff. Uh-oh, what? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Kniff. Never! Well, y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I I'll go get the flowers. Yep. I think that's what it is. Kniff! Can you hear me? We want you to wake up! Kniff, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You aren't the future of hum you are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Kniff, please wake up! I don't like this plan anymore. I I No, I said I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Six souls! Yep. Entry number four! I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Nope. Alright. I think I have one more key to find, and I can power up the machine, or the po get the power back again. I think it's all the way right, because I went left, so I need to go right this this way now. Yeah! Okay, some more. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask me when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Ugh! Turn on the fans! There's a switch on the wall! Press it! Yep! Blow away that mist! Punk! Oh! Oh! Ghosties! I'm a sinuses! What you want? Huh? Huh? What you want? It's the Amalgamate! Amalgamate! Okay? Act! Uh... Pet! The amalgamate is too far away. Pet, you just pet the air. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a dog with a hole in its face. <laughs> the amalgamate is watching you intently. Act. Uh, Beckett, you call it. It bounds towards you, flecking liquid from the orifice. Ew. Yeah. What? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Ah. ah, ah, ah. No. Ah. Maxed out HP. Get out of here. Wee. Right, item. Pet. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests lap for a moment, and it falls asleep. Z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on. Ah! No! Yeah. Uh. Oh. I can't spare yet. Uh. Play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. That amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leads in dripping a amorphous body on you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get out. I can't spare yet. Ah! 
Uh, pet it. Pet the amalgam and starts to generate a stage of happiness froth. Stage one happiness froth. Ah! No! Don't hurt me! Ah! <laughs> oh! It's convulsed and intensified. I gotta take an item. God! I'm not good at dodging right now. Ah! Get out of my face! Magomay's convulsions intensify. Okay, uh, I'll pet it again. You pet decisively. The Magomay seems to be satisfied by all this. Great! Endogeny is contented. Spare! I did it! <laughs> Where's my key? You didn't give it to me. Uh, I guess I go to the other room that had all that cloudy stuff in it where there were people but I couldn't see them or objects I'm not entirely sure it looks like it feels like a human or whatever I was saying ah, no not there that's where the curtain is the wiggly penis that was flicking around in the shadows <laughs> okay bridge it's a refrigerator it's empty great it's a refrigerator it seems to contain samples of some kind that one's moving. The refrigerator! It's empty! How? It's moving! <laughs> the refrigerator! It seems to contain samples of some kind. Okay. The refrigerator! It's empty. Great! All the refrigerators are empty! Oh. Okay. Hi! Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's another amalgamate act. Uh, laugh. Uh, laugh? Joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha <laughs> I rem remember. Oh. Oh, it's sad. Ah. A joke again, or I'll go, I'll laugh. You laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? I, I, you didn't do that. Snowy. Okay. So cold. Oh, this is depressing. Laugh. But it's not funny. Snowy! Okay. Uh. Uh. Heckle! You said something like, You look horrible! Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that. What is going on? This music is depressing. Ah! The joke! Haha, <laughs> thank something I forgot. Let's <laughs> joke again! More jokes! She's completely calmed down. You won! Okay. <laughs> Give me the key! Find a blue key on the ground. Sweet! Probably goes up here. Yep! Sweet! There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain! It's all you can read. Alright. I think I need to go back to the power room. Because I imagine I can go through now since all four of those things are probably on. Yay! <laughs> Yippee! looks like a freaking lamb lamb of god freaking skeleton it's a lamb ram skeleton yippee uh, i'm coming i'm coming chill i'll be there in a second maybe <laughs> i'm trying what? Oh, what? I still have one more key to put somewhere. Did it go this? Does it go over here? No, it would be on the right. I think. Well, I got the last key. It's blue. I just gotta put it somewhere. Shoot. Uh, hopefully it's here. 
Which way? I didn't go this way yet, have I? Nope, haven't gone this way yet. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to field the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of another monster. Just as human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? A flower? It's me! Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work out with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I wasn't ready for that. No. Ugh. What's going on? Ugh. Act. What's this? Uh, uh, it looks like a combination of a lot of creatures. Uh, mystify! You did something mysterious! Recognize it has more to learn from this world! I can't read the script! Ah, uh, no. What is going on? What the heck? Okay, uh... Pray! You kneel and pray for its safety. It remember it, its conscience. I still can't read. It says something hope. Ow! No, 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 no. Whoa! That was some cool dodging. <laughs> no spare. Okay, I gotta do all that stuff, I think. Uh, clean! You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Great. Okay, that... Yeah, that didn't... His head is shooting at me. It's really weird. <laughs> Act. Hum? Have I hummed yet? You hum a familiar tune, but no one has, no one heard you. Great. More weird moth butterfly thing that can use. Ah! Just ow! <sighs> Potato chips. All right, come on, shoot some more stuff at me. Your head apparently is what you wanted to do. Ah! Why did I? Ah! Okay, nope, can't spare yet! Come on! Uh, I think I did them all except pick on. Pick on Reaper Bird! Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it! Rabbit, rabbit, courage! Okay, okay, uh, no! No! Woohoo! Sweet! Nothing! Except the freedom to walk about! Yes, the blue key goes here! Luki fits perfectly into the slot. There's a door on the ground. You cannot make it all out. Cold. That's all you can read. Great. I got it all anyways. I'm just going back. It's a me in the window. In the mirror. Golden flowers. Yep. That's what they are. Hi, I love you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What? Okay, I swear I saw- I think it was Flowey! I don't know, that was weird. I mean, I did spare him. He's still alive. He's gonna kill me. I I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Say hello to Flowey and his serious little grin. Anyway, I wanted to do the whole last rest of the game in this episode. But, I ended up playing for hour 45 minutes two hours to complete the whole game uh there wasn't any deaths really um so it was exactly like two hours to like play the whole rest of the game so i'm putting this hour out today and the next hour will probably be tomorrow in conjunction with another video since i kind of like playing and doing the editing and posting and uploading and all that in one day but we'll see anyway um this is the first part of the end of Undertale. I hope you enjoyed it. The last of it is quite a whammy. So prepare yourself for that. And if you like this episode. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for your friends. And for yourself. 
Follow me on Twitter. The link is always in the description. And if you don't, Flowey will come after you in your dreams. No, I'm just playing. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for diving through those internet cables to see me, Ken FG. Peace out, y'all, with determination. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>